Y'all, today we're checking out the top five recent UFO sightings and the top 10 aliens caught on camera. Let's start with the aliens. We got so many cameras Major now. Fears. I know we got, this video I know we caught some aliens. This news in Ecuador. Let me a boy see. is filming his father with a cell phone, focusing oh, on the tattoo on his back. Oh, yes. Instead, see, I love old videos like this because they're harder to fake. We capture something absolutely bizarre and terrifying. Ooh. Ooh. Where? Let me see. Is his tattoo a UFO? Which is interesting in of itself. Alright, the kid talking. Oh! Hello! Oh! When viewing the video back, a strange face inexplicably appears from? in the video footage. Oh, no. Some believe that the boy somehow captured some interdimensional being on camera. And it has now, a shadow and everything. This footage is real or faked, interdimensional being or not. Either way, it's just bizarre. It's creepy. No, 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 no. Don't just leave me like that. God, I love way, Nuke's it's top five. And then you're going to leave me with a cliffhanger, Nuke? Come on. But look at look at the, the shadow that it's casting. Oh, no, 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 no. That's weird. And where, where, what is the angle of this camera? Disappearing what act. the hell? This next clip is from the short-lived 1990s television this. series, Paranormal Borderline with yes. Jonathan Frakes. Yes, 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 I remember seeing this, this when I was a kid. To them anonymously. I remember seeing this as a kid and the guy gets abducted. I sw you see the lights and everything. Watch, just watch. Late night footage from a factory security camera. There are four black and white hey, hey. pictures. In look at him walking, right look at him quadrant, walking. A worker walks right to left through a gate. He disappears here in a flash of light at 11.16 p.m. And the cameras go crazy. The tape continued to run normally until almost two hours later. Then the victim reappears in a second flash of light, Ooh. now in a fetal position. Then Look moments later, now crouching, Ooh. he vomits. Oh. And seconds later, staggers right to left out of frame. The story goes that after this incident, the man was never quite the same. Soon after, he quit his job at the factory and moved oh. out of town. Bro was experimented on. Bro was experimented. That flash, they came, they took him, they did something. Bro was experimented on. He came back, probably no memory, but feeling sick. Oh, out of left field. that's creepy. In the Black Forest area of Colorado, it is said that Russell Elliott often witnessed strange lights around his farm. He began to document these strange occurrences. I on was video. like, "What am I going to horse?" Uh, one night, he <laughs> catches something a bit more. Uh, oh, okay. The horse scares me every time. Come on, horsey. Oh. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Oh my god, I'm nervous. Oh! Now, this is one of those clips that oh. might just be a little too good. Oh! Oh! I mean, I mean, let I me know what you think. I get it, it just but be like, a little too good. If you know did what he I mean. follow up? Did he try to gain clout off of this? That's a really big thing. Oh! Now, this is one of those clips that might just be Bruh. a little too good. If you know what I mean. But let me know what you think down in the comments. I don't know because it doesn't Batteries look. Not included. It didn't what look. Do it doesn't think? look how we normally would like. It does in the sense like the grays, but the head is big, but it seems more like this way, uh, or or almost like Stewie, almost footballish. And when it, it moves quickly, it's dark, but I kind of see like a almost like very deep like line. Like, do you guys see that? So yes, yeah, kind of like what we see, but like the true form i don't know i don't know i don't know comments do you guys see how i feel like that's kind of like and it, then this the mouth is is small but almost beak like does that make sense to you guys you guys seeing that like i'm seeing groove here groove here like mouth and then like the bottom part of the mouth and then the big old eyes Ooh, it's still creepy Batteries not included. This one just if you need help, buddy, and come out. Don't be hiding in the dark. He repeatedly hear strange noises in his house, so he sets up security cameras to investigate. 
he catches something absolutely bizarre. Oh, security camera. Oh. Oh. What is that? Is that an item or like an orb of light? What? Are they gonna take a little alien? <laughs> That's cute, I think. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, 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 hi, there you are again. I was wondering where you went. Oh, look how it's like kind of casting a light or a shadow, leaving a little bit of a trail. Oh, I feel like this is more ghostly than alien. Why could that be me? Oh, 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 okay. All right. I'm seeing something up here, and it seems to be moving with him. Some weird light emitting object seems to be floating around his kitchen. That's, as that's what it is. It is emitting light, and then that's what we're seeing reflected on the top of the light. I was wondering. The surroundings. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it could just be a mini drone or some kind of light on a string. It looks and almost translucent. Right up until it flies through the ceiling. Yeah. This clip has been submitted to the Mutual UFO Network for professional examination. But just what do you think this could be? I don't know. I don't. I don't In know. A flash. I don't know. If I'd call that one an alien or more of a ghostly apparition. Ooh. In Brazil, there have been multiple sightings of what many locals believe to be an alien visitor. In this clip, a Brazilian news program oh, tries to catch saw. the creature on camera. Oh, it's a news reporter? Oh, good. Oh, oh, oh we've seen that! Because, yeah, it was like a magic trick, homie turn, turns into dust or something. Tries to catch the creature Hold on, we're zooming on in on camera. this bad boy. Look, 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 look. Poof! What, 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 catch the what did you do? What was camera. that, buddy? Like it converted into light or something. Some say that this clip is evidence of alien teleportation, as the oh, creature yeah. seems to disappear in a flash of light. That or like, but what do you think? I mean, it's either aliens Swamp. can teleport or they uh, they caught Nightcrawler in action, which is also kind of cool. <laughs> Workers at a gas station in Peru working late up. at night when they spot something bizarre. Oh, I think I've seen this too. Yes. What is this mother trucker? And look how it's moving. It almost like it's deliberate in its movements. Workers see a small illuminated figure no more than three feet tall. Yeah, they kind of approach see... it, but it seems to speed up to avoid them. Oh. They say that the thing had several legs. I was going to say it. Slightly it, above the it ground. looked like it has m multiple legs. Oh, look at them get closer. Oh, he looks a little scared. Oh, oh. Oh, it started flying. Oh, bitch. <laughs> she said you can clearly see his little well, legs. Say that the bizarre <laughs> alien robot dog. Look at it, look at it. Whatever that is. And it's really fleeing from them. It's disappear into thin air as mysteriously as it had appeared. Oh, no, no. It's currently oh. being investigated by the Peru Association of UFOlogy. Men in Black. Shane Sovar, manager of a Niagara Falls hotel, reported that he spotted a strange triangular UFO in the sky above the hotel. A few days later, while Shane was out, his hotel received two strange visitors. Oh, I think I've seen this. One of my yep, and I think the men in black are creepy and extraterrestrial in origin because they are taller and brooding. And there is one, I don't think it's this one, where the guy, like, the girl had a gun or something and he made her put it down, which is like, if you have a gun, you win. So that's a whole weird situation. Approached me and he kind of had a weird look on his face and he said to me, there's a couple guys in here looking for you. And I said, look at them, look at them. Guys, what do you mean? And he said, there's a couple of really strange looking men that were here. And they kind of freaked everybody out and they were asking questions about Look, okay. This dude, maybe average height, right? 
Look at the distance between him and the door. They were really... Look at the distance between him and the door. He's like almost at the door frame. Really tall, he said, and they were identical height. They were the exact same height. They were wearing the exact same clothes. Ooh. And they had the exact same faces, like they were twins. Now three people witnessed the men's arrival and their strange physical appearance. Were these the mysterious Ooh. men in black who are said to appear after UFO close encounters? Did we well, see them leave? no one will ever know, because the only evidence that remains is this creepy CCTV footage. What about the rest of the day? Did they leave? The <laughs> Did they this leave? This clip, a man hears <laughs> what he thinks are strange animal noises outside his house. Despite his wife's protests, he goes to investigate. And, spoiler, it's not an animal. Oh! So is this an alien, a creature, oh. or just a... Oh, hi. Three skinny guy in a mask. You decide. That's one hell of a mask. It's or more like a bodysuit, if anything. Oh, look at that. No, 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 no. So is no, this no, an no. alien, a creature? Bro. Bro. Creature or just a very skinny guy in a mask. You decide. No. My guy, my guy, the thing, that thing's mouth. Look at the like elongated structure, like cranium. Boom, a little bulbous with the big eye, and then like almost like this part's like elongated and slender. That too, like the way that the mouth is, I don't know, kind of freaks me out. The reflection of the light in its eye. That's ah, too eerie. Very skinny guy in a mask. You decide. Oh no. What should we? Close encounters. Oh my god. Over on the YouTube channel Operation Z Project CXV, a guy named Ken claims that he captured some otherworldly being walking behind him, even though he didn't notice anything at the time. Mm -hmm. The footage was caught on a motion activated trail camera. Oh, is that light? Is this it or is that him? Oh, 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 it just walked behind Closer him, but it didn't go past the tree. That there is indeed someone or look, something if you walking look behind right him. here, it, it uh, never reaches it's here. Alien or not, I'll leave that for you to decide. No. Oh, I feel also like that's in a this ghost. Next clip, King claims that an alien has cloaked itself in some kind of invisibility field and then peeks out as his cat passes by. Oh. King claims his videos are 100% legit proof of alien life. But what do you think? Oh, well, I think it's creep. That's super creepy. Bro, I don't know, because I felt like that could also be a ghostly apparition. I don't know if I'd count that one as an alien, but those were really good. Let's get into the UFOs. Ooh, we got some sky anomalies, baby. Mysteries in the sky, called on camera. Ooh. Sky spiral. I love- On December 9, 2000. I love Nuke's top five. Oh my God, I love this channel. Oh my God, they're incredible. They have like, what, 4 million subscribers? And I think they need more. They need like a billion. What the hell? Go check them out. Their link is going to be in the description below. Just before incredible. sunrise, a strange light appeared in the northern skies of Norway. Now, this is not something that would ordinarily be considered strange, considering Norway is well known for its northern lights, okay. which are caused by naturally occurring solar storms. But this particular event was very different. What started out as a simple glowing beam turned into something unexplainable as the amazing phenomena started oh, spinning my. into a perfect spiral. Oh, wow. And suddenly, the hundreds of miles wide spiral seemed to get swallowed by a black hole. Oh, Witnesses were my. stunned. 
A mysterious spiraling blue light show soon caught the attention of news networks internationally. Stargazers have a big mystery on their hands, a giant spiral of light that suddenly appeared over northern Norway. It's crazy because we've seen, we've covered like three of these sky spirals, but they were a lot smaller than that. That's wild. And none of them got sucked away by a black hole were treated to a spectacular light show early Wednesday morning that immediately set tongues wagging. Everyone asking what created that giant blue pinwheel what? in the sky. What? <laughs> okay. After contacting multiple asking what created that giant blue pinwheel in the sky. After what contacting the multiple sources and getting very few answers, wow. news outlets ultimately speculated that the event might have been a failed Russian rocket test. So, so what, what do you think? Why would you it believe it was just a rocket test gone wrong? Or what was that there's more was... out there than the government tells us? I feel like know your maybe opinion, comments the down below. Spiral. I'd be like, okay, yeah, maybe a rocket, and then look, blah, 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 blah. but then what the hell is the black hole? The ring of smoke. Ring the of series fire. footage taken in Kazakhstan has residents and oh. online viewers convinced it's definitive proof of extraterrestrial life. No, I do think that's On exactly 4th, what the 2015, title is. Ring of confused smoke. locals watched as a mysterious From a factory cloud began to hover ominously over the village emissions. of Short Indy. The cloud hovered there for 15 minutes before it vanished as quickly as it appeared. Mm -hmm. Some believe the black cloud formation to be a naturally occurring weather event known as a thermal microburst, which is caused by I a think, falling mass of warm. I think it's a microburst with smoke and smog mixed in it. However, what makes this theory questionable is that these microbursts are caused by bad weather, usually a thunderstorm or even a tornado. That's true. In the video, it's clear it that there clear are absolutely sky. no signs of bad weather present, That's not even another cloud in the sky. Interesting. Skyquakes. Freaks me out. I can't deal with skyquakes. There's an phenomena that has been reported around the world that, where loud noises I'm not even religious, action. and when I hear skyquake, I'm like, oh, that's the apocalypse. It's the, the trumpet. It's time to die. Judgment day. I don't want it. Nope. Uh uh. It emanate from the very sky <laughs> itself. Sounds range from loud pulsing. Booms I may not be religious, but I ain't going to play with it either. Almost musical. The phenomena is so common that it has even been given a name. Uh huh. Skyquake. Uh huh. Now, no sky one knows quakes. the source of these skyquakes. The sky don't quake, baby. Some theorists speculate that the sounds could have possible extraterrestrial or UFO origins. One Believe thing is certain, these strange sounds have been reported by news outlets all over the world. There's been a lot of buzz over the last few weeks about strange sounds being heard in the atmosphere. People around the world and here at home have reported hearing some bizarre noises. So they've heard a loud boom coming from the skies last night. Heard and felt a loud noise mm. around 1230 Central Time this afternoon. The area has been plagued by loud booming sounds. <laughs> Problem plagued. is no one knows where the sound is coming from. I'm going to try That's and describe it for everyone That's here, really okay? Creepy. If you took a whale's mating call, added a fifth grader learning to play French horn, <laughs> and threw in some cheese ball ghost sound effects from a haunted house, that would be like the noise that a lot of people woke up to in St. Paul this morning. That's creepy sounds have also been documented by YouTube users worldwide. Oh no. Oh, it sounds like the earth is crying. The earth is like, get these parasites off of me. They keep polluting and fighting. It's okay, Mama Earth, we're sorry. I couldn't, I couldn't sit there. I would be freaking out. Oh, no, 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 no. Honestly, that one will freak me out. Not because of the apocalypse. That one will freak me out because it sounds like Godzilla. <laughs> I'd be like, what the fuck is going on? Oh, that one sounds like it's moaning. That one sounds like music. I don't know, 
that sounds so ominous. No, that does not bode well for mankind. Other non-UFO conspiracy theories wow. for the cause of these sounds range all the way from secret government weather control devices okay. to even the assertion by some religious groups that the sounds herald the beginning of That's the, the apocalypse. apocalypse. I knew it! <laughs> so what do you think these weird sounds are? I, well, I hope it's not that. <laughs> Floating city. Oh, oh, I've seen this in China, right? Yes. This video surfaced out of China, and it looks like bananas. the city is floating in the clouds. Bananas. But now here's a. But let me tell you something, because you know how religious people are like heaven. Da, da, da. If heaven looks that industrial, I got a lot to say. <laughs> and for you, an and we're remodeling when we get city there in the sky. No. No, that visit. looks dark and it looks like Gotham. times over the last six years, this mysterious phenomenon has occurred in the skies over China. The latest what strange the... event taking place this year on April 21st, 2017. Now, it's undeniable that this is a real event, considering how many times the mysterious floating city has appeared, and each time it's been captured on camera by multiple witnesses. By many witnesses. people, yeah. The opinions on just what it is vary. Um, now one well, buddy, I mean, well, I mean, new, I know he's not, but what could it be? It's a city in the sky. And what you the strange leading theory is that the floating city is a hologram produced by the authorities carrying out a quote, Project Bluebeam test. Project Bluebeam is a conspiracy okay. theory which believes that NASA plans to one day use holograms and telepathy to simulate an alien invasion of Earth or even the second coming of Christ. I don't know. Another theory is that it's a portal from a different dimension, giving that us a could, brief glimpse that... of a city in another part of the universe. Right, now, that's the possible. Previous theories seem more like movie plots than actual science. So oh, the other. The oh, oh, the next one seemed like movie plots, but not the. Not the first two? Okay. Theory <laughs> is that the floating city is merely a Fata Morgana. A Fata Morgana on, is a mirage that causes bad. observers to see images that are sometimes upside down or stacked one on top of the other. But it's caused by light rays buildings. being bent by extremely like... dense air. One example is when traveling on a road on a hot day and you might see water in the distance. Water which will then disappear when you come close. Mm. Whichever theory is true, that's up I to don't you to know. decide. Those look like real good structural UFO buildings. UFO near Paris. Ooh. In September 2016, a disc-shaped like object appeared over Eiffel Paris, Paris France. A witness captured it on camera, at first believing it to be a helicopter. Oh. Only after oh, hey, zooming buddy. in did the skeptic right begin to doubt his own theory. Oh, hey, buddy. In the footage, it's clear that the object is not anything you'd normally see in the sky. No, it's like a disc. It has a saucer shape and moves very slowly through the clouds. Now, most UFO okay. videos are very easy to debunk, but this one seems much more realistic than most. It sure does. If you look close, you can see light reflecting off oh, the circular off the side object. Of, yeah. But it also seems more believable because the camera operator actually zooms and focuses on the object several times. Bro. This video is either a special effects video created by someone who took a lot of time to create this saucer-shaped object in exceptional detail, or it's actual footage of a but UFO. Oh, yes. So, what do you think? Wow, I Share think that last down one in the is comments. very compelling. I think that last one is very compelling. That was just, wow. Those are such a great video. Uh, Nukes top five. Dude, dude. I'm like stressing. You got me freaking out. The alien between the trees, that wasn't a mask, bro. And, and that last UFO was so compelling. The spinning one, I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe it could be that rocket, but the black hole got me. But that last one, I don't know, it was it had this eerie vibe and it felt very real. And I feel like, like he said, who's that's a lot of time. That person would have wasted all that time for what? They didn't really follow up with anything else. And I love it, y'all. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you enjoyed this and want to see more stuff like this, smash that like and subscribe. I'll see all of you guys next time. And don't forget. Keep looking up.